Hey Parasites, welcome back to the show. And before we get into today's episode, I just want to give a quick life update. Um, unfortunately, Ace has passed away. He's no longer with us. Um, his ailments and cancer and everything that he was fighting just started to, you know, one domino after another fall down and it got really bad. And obviously we didn't want to see him suffer anymore. So we had to make a really tough decision and then um, send him to join Echo in heaven. So I apologize for the lack of content lately. I've just been dealing with that. And um, and I appreciate your time and patience uh, waiting for me to come back to the show. Uh, so, you know, thank you. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the kind messages. A lot of you have reached out to me either through text messages, some of you, DMs, emails. And uh, I just want to say thank you. It means a lot. You know, Ace was part of the family here. He was a parasite like Echo and, and the rest of us. And um, he's going to be missed greatly. So... Thank you again, and uh, I hope you still enjoy today's episode. You better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today I just want to talk about the fact that Venom 3 has officially gone back into production. So we are, you know, going to get some news probably soon. We'll see some set photo leaks and everything like that, and so I'm just really... Happy for this news. It's good to get some good news, you know, right now with everything that's going on in the world and maybe in our personal lives. And so to see this movie at least get back on track and to have a new release date, which is going to be November 8th of 2024. So a year from, you know, when the strike ended, they just came out and said, look, we're going to get this movie out. Sony put out a new release date within, you know, 24 hours of the strike ending. You know, we're aiming for November of next year. And hopefully that's not asking too much of, you know, post-production and everybody. But from what I've seen so far and, and some of the stuff that's being shared secretly and then also, you know, publicly, it uh, looks like, you know, fun is starting to be had by the crew and uh, everyone coming back together. So obviously we're excited here on the channel because, you know, we get to talk about the Venom movie, which is why we started this channel. And as fun as it is to talk about the comics and some of the other stuff and show some video game footage from the new Spider-Man 2 video game, I'm really excited to talk about a movie again because that was, like I said, the whole point of starting this channel was to follow Tom, who is my favorite actor, and see like the you know the journey of this character in film uh, now that he's been brought back to film. So there are leaks and rumors out there of people talking about what potentially the story could be, but as far as I know, a lot of those aren't true or, or don't fit exactly what is going to happen. Um, but again, then again, I don't know all the details, and things change all the time, especially when there's you know a strike that happened. You get some perspective. You can look back at things and say, hey, actually, we could do this differently. I have more time to think about this. So you never know. So until we get some set photos and some more information, you know, we don't have a lot to go off of right now, uh, other than the fact that the movie does have Tom picking up right where he left off in the last movie and right after coming back from the MCU universe. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to be fun to see, you know, what he gains now that he's, you know, that Eddie's back in his world and there's a sliver of his symbiote in another world. Uh, especially with the symbiote saying, like, you know, I can see other dimensions. As long as there's Clintar there, I can kind of see the multiverse in a way. Be interesting to see how that may factor into the new movie and and what the story might be based around that. So we'll see. But I'm excited. Obviously, I'm, I'm hoping that this is at least going to be fun to follow. You know, I know people are divisive on these movies of what they feel like. But for me, it's always comes on Tom. If he's doing a great job with him and Venom and the chemistry there. I think that first movie and the second movie, even expanding on it, I think is some of the best just Venom Eddie stuff that I've seen. And it's I think it's inspired a lot of, you know, uh, people out there who aren't normally fans of the character to kind of go, oh, this is interesting. He's kind of like an odd couple kind of situation, you know, with the two of them. And I like that. I, I like that aspect. I think it adds something unique to the movie and, you know, having Tom have chemistry essentially with himself as the voice of Venom. Um, I think it's just kind of funny. It's just, it works. And, uh, and I hope to see more of that in the next movie, but I hope to see also, you know, some stakes, you know, to, you know, rise up. I think, uh, the second movie struggled a little bit with the stakes, even though they were, you know, Eddie was up against a serial killer. It seemed like the stakes would be high. Um, and then with everyone fighting in the church and stuff, it was like, okay, I get it. Like, you know, you don't want Anne or anything to happen to her and stuff. So there were some stakes there, but just the way it was kind of handled and delivered on some level, in my personal opinion, I'm like, ah, these could be tightened up or this could be a little stronger. And I'm hoping to see that in this movie. And uh, I think Kelly, you know, directing is going to be really fun. I can't wait to see, you know, her and Tom have a lot of great chemistry. And I think nothing else, 
you're going to see that fun on screen. And, uh, and for me, that's great. You know, I just want to see people who are creative in their element, having fun and doing something cool with the character of Venom. And I think they did that really well in the first movie. And I can't wait to see what they do that here with this movie. So let me know what you think. You know, the movie's coming out. Um, also a quick update on Otis. We made a video like some months back saying, you know, like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if Otis came back? He was in the first movie as a cameo. And then the second movie, he was a cameo. And we were like, what could he be in the third movie? Like, is there a chance he might come back? I think I saw on his Instagram that he posted that he's coming back. So that's awesome, you know, if that's the case. I, you know, so that's really cool if that's uh, happening. And I'm really curious if he is coming back, what the arc of his character will be. Because we were speculating all kinds of things. We were like, all right, he was a soldier for Life Foundation in the first movie. And then he was, you know, homeless in the second movie. So I guess because the Life Foundation crumbled, you know, he didn't have a job. And then he, you know, became homeless. And then the symbiote bonded to him you know, as it left Eddie's apartment and then went off into the city of San Francisco. So I'm curious, he has a codex in him, right? So is that going to be something they touch on in the next movie where people who have bonded to the suit when it was running around in the second movie all have a codex? You know, could that be something? You know, who knows? We'll see. But uh, for now, all we can do is speculate. And as we get more information, obviously I'll cover it here on the show with you guys. And I'll love to get your opinion every time I post something. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for the new release date? You know, I know some of you are like, oh my God, we got to wait a couple extra months, but I think it'll be worth it. It'll be good to give, uh, you know, post-production and everybody time and people to film time. You know, it'll be, everyone gets, uh, you know, they don't, they don't have to rush so much. And that's key. We don't want to burn anyone out. We want them to have fun while making this movie, hopefully. And uh, so that way they deliver a fun movie to us, a fun and entertaining movie, hopefully. So thank you so much. I would love to hear your thoughts down below and we'll keep talking down there. See you in the future. Peace.